Welcome to Dilly Gang, the channel that provides tutorials and reviews on the tools helping you make an impact in the world with your music and content. This is a nuts and bolts video right here. This is something the preface is this. This is it's going to be a lengthy video. So, you know, put this on where you got some time to listen to it or listen to the audio. But you really want to pay attention to what's going on here because this is a powerful tool that will enable you to track what's going on with your BeatStars page or with your Blaze player. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a Facebook pixel, a Facebook pixel into your Blaze player. Now, why? Now, before we even go into that, why do you want this? The reason that you want to add a Facebook pixel to your Blaze player that you embed on your website is so that you can track what's going on with your ads on Facebook if you're starting to do an ad campaign on Facebook or on other platforms. You can also use a Google Pixel, but this Pixel is a number. Uh, in, the, in, in this scenario right here, the Pixel is a number that you take from your, your ad account on Facebook and you copy that number into the Blaze Player. And what happens is, is whenever you activate something on that Blaze Player, it's going to report back to Facebook what's going on. So if your if your objective is is the actual Blaze player being viewed from traffic that you generate from your ad, this pixel will help Facebook keep track of that process and also let you know if the ad that you designed is working or if you need to design another ad. All right. So this is very important, and I I just want to advise you and just share with you that it's okay to review this stuff it took me a while to get it but if you do get it you can really use it so we got a few pages here we got my website and as you see on my website i have a beat star blaze player right here okay so whenever this is opened up you can see that i got this blaze play right here on my my beat catalog right there and this is being controlled from here on the BeatStars website. And then on this tab here, we actually have the Facebook, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook ads manager, campaign manager. All right. So this video is going to basically teach how to set up a pixel. And this is so, and this is to give you more accurate tracking. We're just going to focus on that. This is one piece of the big puzzle. We're just going to focus on this one thing. So if you're ready to focus on this, Stay with me and roll with me on this. It's very easy to tune out on this. On this, That's why I'm trying to take my time and talk about it and hopefully provide the context of why this is important and how this can be a tool to help you as you embark on your marketing journey as a marketer in addition to being a music producer. So let's look at the setup Blaze Player on this tab. Let's, so to get there, we got my media. We got the dashboard. Click on the dashboard. I got a I got a favorite setup for my dashboard, and this sort of gives you an uh, overview. You know about that. So we're going to click on Setup Blaze Player, and so I have one right here called uh, Dilly Gang Beats. This is my play Blaze Player here. I'm probably going to blur out my pixel in post production because I don't want y'all using my pixel and messing my stuff up. <laughs> but uh, you got a track widget you can use, but we're just looking at the player. You select the the, uh, the uh, player that you've customized. You scroll down, and so you have some settings here. Okay, so this is the Facebook Pixel ID that you use, okay? Now, keep in mind that on here, this is not the same as your pro page. So if you've set up a Pixel on your pro page, if you set up a pixel on your pro page, that does not necessarily mean it's going to show up on your Blaze player because BeatStars with a pro account provides you with a pro page and a Blaze player. So if you're putting it on your website, you got a Blaze player. If you go into your pro page, as I'll show you in context, which I need to update and customize, but if I go to my pro page, and open that up. This is the pro page. When you put your pixel on the here, it's not the same as the Blaze player. So that's something very important to pay attention to on this. But in this video, in this context, 
we're talking about how to set it up on your blaze player so you hit that pencil go down to the bottom and now we're back here once again it's blurred out because it's almost like giving away your stream key and i don't think i want to do that and this is where you copy and paste that facebook pixel so where do you get your facebook pixel i'm glad you asked let's go back to the facebook ads manager here we are in the facebook ads manager as you can see, I got a couple ads that I've been running and testing out. These are my first ads. I deleted some of the old ones, but I advise you to keep the previous ads so you can track what you're doing. If I click on the business tools and go to events manager, now you will see your pixel and your pixel will be right here. Over here to the right, I blurred that out on purpose, but you will have a number there. So in order to install your pixel onto the Blaze player, you want to highlight this number, copy it, go over to your next tab and paste it into your Facebook pixel ID. Okay. Once you do that, then you want to save your changes. Okay. So now once that's done, we want to test to see that Facebook is seeing this this pixel and that it's live so the first thing you want to do after you save this is to see if there's a pixel being responded to on your web page so now that this is saved we're going to go back to the website to my website where my blaze player is at right here now of course you can't see the uh, the facebook pixel in front but there's a tool called up here to the right called the Facebook Pixel Helper. And the Facebook Pixel Helper, and as you can see, I blurred out <laughs> my pixel right here. But the Facebook Pixel Helper will let you know that the pixel is sending information back to Facebook from this Blaze, this Blaze page right here. So if you do different actions on here, it's going to send it back. So why is this important why why does it even matter well first thing is that you want to make sure that the facebook pixel is working if they if you got like a ad blocker on your website or web page the facebook pixel does not work so if you're even trying to test one of the reasons why it may not work is because of that issue so let's go back to the facebook page so in order to test your facebook pixel you want to hit test events test events right so let's do that let's let's test the events so once again copy that pixel take it to the blaze page the blaze player not the blaze page there's two different ones and they all and they both have their own pixel that you can put in there or you can just put the same pixel on both of them come back into here and now what we're going to do is now that this is saved you can confirm that you got the right pixel because if you refresh the website, we see that there's a pixel activate there and there's a number of the pixel there. All right. So let's test that pixel. Going back to this test, you can make sure that you got your, your pixel ID right there on the left. Hit test events. Now this will be blank. So what I want to do is I want to take my actual website, copy that. So what I want to do is take the actual website that I'm on, copy that, and then hit test events, clear activity, because it might be activated already, paste that in there, and then hit open website. Now the website's being opened. The Facebook over to the right has been activated. Facebook sees this activity, page view, view content. This is populating as the web page is opening up. All right, so let's see what happens if I play a beat. Will Facebook know if the user played a beat? Let's find out. I'm playing a beat. Okay, I played a beat. Look at that, track play. And guess what? We can find out which track is played by clicking on a custom event. Saturday morning, that's the name of the beat that I just played. So that shows you the power of having a pixel on your website. So if you're Google, if you're Google, 
if your goal is to get a page view, notice here that the pixel has reported back to Facebook a page view. A page view, right? So that's a goal that you can add to your Facebook marketing campaign. If you want page views, well, this, face, this Facebook pixel will let, the, let your ad campaign know that it achieved its result so that it can optimize this ad for you. So that's why you want to do this. This is how you install it. You can also install it onto your pro page, but just know that the pro page entry for your pixel is separate from your entry for the Blaze player. If you're using your custom domain and you're not using the pro page, then you got to make sure that you put it on there. And how do you know that it works? You install this Chrome, uh, Chrome plugin called Facebook Pixel Helper. And that'll let you know. And what short circuits that is if you got ad blockers on. Okay. So I hope this helps you out. And if you have any questions about this, let me know. This is a nuts and bolts tutorial. Actually, it went faster than I expected. Now I got to go back and post and blur out my numbers so that y'all don't take my stuff. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video and next tutorial. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you want to see on this channel. And we'll go from there. All right. Dilly gang.